us the face of the Catholic priesthood in our world. And what a beautiful face he really was. I often think of John Paul II as a child. When his mother died, he went to a shrine and he said to the Blessed Mother, you must be my mother now. And he carried that into his priesthood. And so every priest needs to re-echo his words of totus tuus Maria. Because as Christ gave himself his priesthood and his, and his victimhood to the Blessed Mother, so every priest needs to give his priesthood and his victimhood to the Blessed Mother. The works of the priest, uh, besides being a counselor, besides being a, a spiritual leader, is someone who, as St. Paul would say, would administer the mysteries of God, that he is the one who brings the holy sacraments into the life of God's people. When I say those words, this is my body given for you, I almost get trembly, you know, who am I to do this? What am I? I have the sacred powers, powers from God, to call down the Holy Spirit on bread and wine. And offering the blood of the Son of God to His Father for mercy, calling down upon the world the mercy of the Father as I raised that chalice, knowing that that chalice was filled with the blood that poured forth from his sacred heart. I can honestly say that I, I really want nothing else in life but to bring people to Jesus Christ. And each day, it actually, the gift becomes more beautiful and more brighter. It's a beautiful gift, the Holy Priesthood. It speaks to the heart and the soul of every society and ministers to every human need. And wherever there is a human need, the Catholic priesthood is meaningful. The priesthood is a life of sacrifice, it's a life of service, because it's the life of our Lord. And so it's not simply that of kneeling in the church all day and praying. It's rolling up one's sleeves and doing things for other people. That sacrificial life, that of giving their time you know, completely to people, to hearing confessions, to saying mass, giving retreats, and completely joyful doing it. Quite frankly, a priest has to be all things to all people. At the most important moment of their life, you walk in a semi-stranger, but because you are a priest, you, you are part of their lives, you are part of their family. You cry with some people, you laugh with others. <laughs> you know, what a person goes through in a lifetime, we can go through in a day because at one moment you need to be rejoicing with the couple you're wedding. Another moment you have to have that joy of bringing this child to baptism. At the next moment you have to be preparing the soul for death. Emergency, what is your location? I'm on Route 135. There's been an accident on the southbound side here. There's a kid lying in the road. He's got blood on his head. He's not moving very much. He only looks like he's like a 17. <laughs> Please, you gotta hurry, okay? Hurry. Father James, can you hear me?
priest who brings the soul home to God. May the blessing of Almighty God the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Matthew, Matthew, your sins are forgiven. sources on the ground, two young men have been taken to the hospital with injuries, while a third is feared dead after being thrown from his vehicle. What draws young people to be priests is a priest's example, to be a father to them, because you are the face of Christ. And when they see you, they see the church. And when they see the church, they see Christ. All young people, I think, have that deep desire to do something remarkable, to be someone remarkable. Come, follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. Our Lord told his apostles that they would become fishers of men. And so it is important that we accept that role and we go out and call people, perhaps even by name, individuals, and, and ask them if the Lord certainly is calling them to the holy priesthood. We talk about the sacrifices a priest has to make. When there's love, sacrifice is easy. I really feel that in order for me to be who I was created to be, this is what I had to do. Let people know how much God loves them, and that you're not there to dictate, you're not there to rule, but to serve. And I think that's the main point. Like Jesus laying down his life for all of us, we lay down our lives. The priesthood is tough, and it's for real men. You have to be a real man if you want to become a priest. regular guys uh, to come and follow him. When I came back to the Lord, that's where I found everything. That's where I found the treasure in the field. And it's worth selling everything to buy that field to get that treasure, to get the pearl of great price hidden in that treasure box of the priesthood. You know, it's worth it all. <laughs>